What's up everybody? This is Tiny Love. We're gonna have a little interview with Shifter Shapes. And we're gonna get to know him. And we're gonna go through a lot of the finger touch, finger waves, and digits. And you're gonna get a, like a good picture of what's what and what's not. And who's doing what and uh, how. You're gonna get a real good picture and understand what you know this whole finger tutting is all about. Alright? So shift the shapes just give us a little brief um what kind of dancing where and how you started and all stuff right. like that so uh I, I was never like uh a dancer in in you know junior high school high school I wasn't on the, like the hip hop squad or I wasn't in any breaking crews or anything like that it was basically um i was the type of guy where maybe if they had like a dance in junior high school or something, I would kind of be shy at first, but then maybe one song would come on that I would like, and once I started dancing, I wouldn't stop. You know, I'd go the whole night. And when that was going on, I was only like six, seven, and then by the time maybe I was old enough to get into it, it was gone. So it kind of like vanished too fast. But I remember just like little snippets, like I remember everything. Um, related to this dance. I remember a little snippet from a show, a Broadway play that was being advertised on uh, TV, and I think it was Wiggles, I'm not sure, he was just doing like a little bit of ticking, and it was like two seconds, but I was like, how's he moving like that? And that stuck with me, even though I never did anything with it. But for me, it started to click. I, I remember then I saw people kind of maybe doing a little bit of liquid with the stomping, and I started kind of picking that up, and I saw uh, Jason, who called himself Just B later, and then Dr. Funk. Yeah. And I saw yeah. Tiny very occasionally. Um, Tiny, I, I didn't see that maybe once or twice. And uh, a guy I saw more often, though, was Hypno. Mm -hmm. And um, he was doing, for that time, like really incredible strobing. Yeah. And that got me started trying to work on that, and um, I think it was probably around the time that I saw Hypno that I was like, "This is this is hard. This isn't something you could just go to the club and and do and just pick up. You know, when the song hits you, you have to kind of practice it. So maybe I would say around 2000." is when I started thinking, this is something I'm going to practice, I want to get good at. And it was around that time that I also discovered uh, there was kind of a community of people online. And I saw uh, people from the clubs that I used to see online as the Liquid Pop crew. And they, had their, they kind of had the first mover advantage, they were the first people to get their clips online. So, so, okay, so who, what was those first clips there, like, that oh, you see? Oh, uh, for the you, LPC? Yeah, like, uh, okay, LPC um, or, well, I'll, well. T I'll tell you some of the first people who were online. Well, I'll tell you the forums first. Mm -hmm. um, when I first got there in 2000, there was the Freestyle Session Forum. Uh, that was kind of active, not that much. There was the uh, bboy.com forum, mm -hmm. which was a little bit more active. That, both of those forums were poppers. There was also a forum called Shut Up and Dance. Oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah, and that was on Easy Board. And that was the forum more for like the new school kids. Also, a lot of the people that did Liquid were on there. And uh, LPC was on there promoting themselves and sharing the, the links to their clips. And basically, um, there were a range of clips online. There was some international stuff. Uh, there was some stuff from just amateurs, there was uh, some stuff from the Liquid Pop crew, uh, they had clips. Um, also, kind of before any of the clips online, I think the thing that people were learning from, and this was really critical and important, was some of the tapes. And it used to be the only tapes that you could learn from were the tapes that had b-boying and popping together. Like yeah. the first Radiotron tape I saw, that was incredible, it had Maury, it had Flat Top, it had Scorpio, it had Bam Bam, um, it had Mystery. E. I didn't know who any of these people were at the time. Mm -hmm. Of course, it had Bopping Ron, Popping Chuck, all in one tape. And um, 
I learned a lot from that, but it's kind of like you see moves and you try and imitate them. Mm -hmm. You don't necessarily get a sense of the whole style because they're just short snippets. Mm -hmm. But I saw the Mr. Wiggles tapes. Yeah, Wiggles like three. Big on tapes. Yeah, I saw the VHS tape. He Wiggles three. the whole world. He did. Yeah. Um, and he. And it was electric boogie. It wasn't no. Boogie. Well, actually, by the time the first tapes, he was electric boogie. Yeah. But but and. By the time he got to Wiggles 3, he was an EB member. Yeah, yeah. And his style didn't really reflect it, though. It was still mostly waving, mostly tricks, mostly tutting, but he had, like, the Fresno transition or the Fresno start. And I think that a major influence on people was when the tutting tape came out, the Wiggles yeah, tutting tape. Yeah, that was amazing. I know that, uh, like, for the finger tutting stuff we'll come up we'll talk about later i think yeah. that is what influenced d strange to get like majorly into tutting yeah, and you yeah. could see that in yeah, everyone yeah. who was tutting the wiggles influence mm -hmm. and a lot of it was it was outer tuts and it was a lot of yeah uh Those wrist rolls, rolls. Yeah. wrist rolls were very big um and mm -hmm. you don't see anyone doing the wrist rolls anymore and um he would do com like waving combos in and out of it yeah, yeah like these like these waves, right. these, yeah. And he had uh, inner, inner hand movements that he would use fingers for, like he would, con he would, yeah, 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 um, yeah. and he would like flip, flip it around mm -hmm. different ways, but he wasn't really focused on the fingers, it was more like using the fingers as a way to flip the hands around. More like transitions. transitions. Right. But when I was also going out to like electronic parties in New York, mm -hmm. there was a lot of people who were doing liquid there was a lot of people who were doing what was called boxing. And it was kind of um, focused on inner tuts. Uh, you would see kids who didn't know what they were doing at all, and they would just be like. Oh, yeah, know, yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, and they would you know, get into liquid and right. do three, four boxes. Right, just like right yeah, in here. There's the, actually some clips of Soul Sick. Sure. Think, like that. They still. <laughs> And maybe they would they would flip out, and maybe because someone they knew had seen the Wiggles video. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but there was also kids who were pretty into the boxing, and they were very good at keeping the hands straight, and they would do wrist rolls, and they were very clean. Mm -hmm. um, and I saw a few that were really kind of advanced, and that made me want to learn learn the boxing, and I kind of picked that up, and I started running with it, and.